Hey everyone, Mike here from Heroes and Bosses, and this time I'm going to paint some scenery from the Mantic Games Terrain Crate series. This particular one is called Dragon's Horde, and here is everything that you get inside one of the boxes. I thought it would be fun to use this as an alternative to the chests in Massive Darkness or D&D, or even as a basing material for some dragon miniatures. So you can see I've primed everything in black. I find the metallics look much better when painted over a black base coat. And now I'm starting with Vallejo's Glorious Gold. Glorious Gold is definitely my favorite gold color that I've used so far, and I'm using it to cover all of the coins on the ground and inside the chest. Next I'm going to be using Shining Silver from Army Painter to paint various objects found among the gold, such as this platter or ewer. Next I'm going to paint a handful of these coins silver just to add some variety. Next I'm going to be using Balthazar Gold as my copper or bronze color. There's a couple chalices in the gold and I'm going to paint one of them with this, and I'm also going to paint a few more random coins. There's also some kind of scepter laying on the ground and I'm painting the head of this with the Balthazar Gold as well. Now I'm switching back to the Shining Silver, and I'm going to use this to paint the two tips of the scepter. Finally with this silver, I'm going to paint the second chalice, and then I'm going to paint all of the gemstones. Next I'm painting the handle of the scepter with dark sea blue. Now I'm going to paint the chest. I'm first using plate mail steel for all the framing around the chest. Then for the wood, I'm going to be using Mornfang Brown. I was sloppy putting on the steel, but now I'm going slow and careful with the brown to cover up any overspill. Next, I'm moving on to the washes, and I'm starting off with Agrax Earthshade Gloss. I don't want to have to highlight all these coins, so a gloss wash is the best way to go. It's going to create some deep shadows, but not overly darken the gold. I'm only using this on the gold and bronze parts, and after it's on, I'm going to dab off any excess with a damp brush. Next, I'm using Nuln Oil Gloss for all the silver bits and the scepter, although I am avoiding the gemstones. I want to keep those free of wash. And finally, I'm using regular Nuln Oil for the entire chest, the wood and the steel. Once the wash is dry, I'm going to do some very minimal highlighting. I'm going to do one layer of highlight on the chest with a 50-50 mix of Mornfang Brown and XV88. All I'm doing with this color is brushing over the planks with a thin down layer of the paint and avoiding all the gaps. Next, I'm taking some Shining Silver and doing an edge highlight on the top part of the steel framing and the rivets. I'm also using the Shining Silver to do an edge highlight on the silver objects in the gold pile.
For the handle of the scepter, I'm first highlighting with a layer of 1 to 1 Dark Sea Blue and Wizard's Orb, and then I'm going to follow that up with a thin line of pure Wizard's Orb along the top edge. For all the gemstones, I'm going to be using the gemstone paints from Games Workshop. One thing I learned about these is that you need to shake them all the time. After a year of sitting on a shelf, they had to be stirred with a stick for a good 5 minutes each, and even then they were a bit clumpy. I first picked some random gems to be green and blue, but I remembered that you need to paint the red gemstones over a light gold. I just used a 1 to 1 mix of shining silver and glorious gold and painted this onto a handful of gems before applying the red gemstone paint. And since I've already got the glorious gold out, I'm going to edge highlight all the bronze objects with that. Now that all the paint is on, I'm going to use three different varnishes to finish it off. I'm first spraying the whole thing with a satin varnish so the metals don't lose all their luster. After that, I'm going to paint the chest with some brush-on matte varnish. And finally, I'm mixing a bit of water with some gloss varnish, and I'm going to paint over all the gemstones with this to make them a bit shinier. If you're looking to do this quicker so you can just get these on the table as fast as possible, you could just use glossy washes, skip the highlighting, and only use a satin varnish. That would cut the time in half, and you'd still get a decent looking pile of loot. And here's the finished product, one of the loot piles from the Dragon's Horde Terrain Crate. A special thank you to all my patrons who support the creation of these videos. If you like these videos and want to show your support, come check out Heroes and Bosses on Patreon. I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching.